have you ever seen this type of sleeve and this type of sleeve and wondered how it was created i guess you have so in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to recreate this type of sleeve in just simple steps so do well to sit back relax learn and enjoy So for this particular sleeve I made, I used about 2 yards of satin. You may be needing more or needing less depending on how wide your circles are. Yeah, and you can use other materials too apart from satin. I've not tried scuba but I feel thick scuba will be very very nice for this hand. You can use organza, you can use, but the best material to use is actually satin, organza and maybe scuba because scuba stands. Yeah, so at this point I was marking out a circle you know the way you cut your um peplum flare yeah so i was cutting out a circle and i was marking nine on all sides of the circle you can mark five you can mark six you can mark seven eight nine ten eleven twelve depending on how wide you want your circle to be but after sewing the cloth i actually wished i made my circle smaller maybe like seven or eight because i feel like the smaller the circle is the more um shaped the se the hand is going to be so after cutting out after marking out the nine i cut out the peplum and <laughs> this is the tiring part of this sleeve you are going to have to cut this 12 times you need 12 of these circles to be able to achieve the sleeve that i was trying to make and if you want it fuller you can cut up to 16 20 if you want it to go around your shoulder not just on one sleeve you can cut as many as possible but for this particular sleeve i cut out about 12 circles and here's a trick if you feel it's so tiring to cut it 12 times you can actually fold your material into eight at some point i had to fold my material into eight yeah instead of folding into four you fold into eight but you have to be very careful by the time you fold into eight when you are done cutting you have two circles already so you are just going to have to cut that like five or six times to have your circle but to be on the safer side you can just cut it you can just fold into four and be patient to cut out the 12. But as you can see at this point i was counting to ensure i had up to 12 circles yes so now you go over to the sewing machine and you place the front of the material over the front as you place it front to front and then you get your crino line and you start sewing um i know this this particular crino line may be strange to so many of you because everyone is used to the normal white one like the normal flat one and this one i'm using is majorly used for fascinators actually i got this crino line sometime in 2019 that pe that period crino line was not really really popular and i went to lagos island i didn't find the normal crino line so i just got this one and i've been using it since last two years because i got plenty yeah so i've been using it i use it in peplums and it's fine but i would advise anyone making this sleeve to use the normal crino line because i feel like this one kind of affected the sleeve if it's normal peplum that you're making with ankara fine but if it's this type of sleeve just use the normal crino line that we all know and not this fascinator crino line so you're going to have to sew around with your crino line then when you're done sewing around with the crino line you're going to pick it up you know you used two to get one circle and you turn the crino line so there's no way to open it because you turn the circle completely so you are going to have to create a little hole at the center of one part not two parts ensure it's just one you're cutting so you don't make mistake then you turn it around and when you're done turning around this is how it, it will look and when you're done with this you go iron it you do it for the 12 of them so you get six circles and by the time you are done ironing it will be like this please iron very very well um it was when i was fixing the sleeve at this point i realized that i should have actually ironed more and that's why i said this screen line affected me because it's kind of puffy it's not like the normal flat screen line it affected the sleeve so use the flat screen line and give this a very very good press iron it very well then when you're done ironing you fold it into four the same way you saw me so i'm um, folding into four now and after folding into four 
you, go, you are going to pick up your needle and thread your hand needle and thread and you're going to start tacking it the same way i'm tacking this you have to tack it carefully the idea is to like try and create a rose from this try and create something like a rose and make sure that place you cut open is sewn in make sure it's sewn in because if it's not sewn in by the time you are by the time you are done um stitching this when you open it up you are going to be seeing the hole you are going to be seeing the tear and it will not make any sense so you tack it very well and i was done tacking the six of them and you can see how it looks at this point you can see that by the time i join the six of them together my sleeve is already getting shaped like it's already getting the form of the sleeve you saw in the picture at the beginning yeah so this is how it's going to be you will do the six of them yeah and when you join them together you already have your beautiful rose but no we are going to have to add it to the cloth itself it's not going to stand like this so this is the cloth i was contemplating putting fringes on the, on the cloth at this point that's why you can see these fringes or that i later removed them i just pinned them so you are going to pick one and you are going to use your hand needle you can use your sewing machine but hand needle is the best for this in fact use your hand needle don't use sewing machine yes use your hand needle so you are going to have to um use the hand needle and you sew it gently 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 you can do this on the mannequin and if you don't have a mannequin you can do it without a mannequin doing it on the mannequin is quite difficult but it's good so that you know the position of the um circle and you know the actual part you want it to be so you're going to be doing this carefully and at some point you're going to have to open up the circle and pass the thread in from the middle you're not just tack it on the side and you are going to tack it on all parts of the sleeve both the upper part and the lower part so that it to spread that's the idea of opening it up so that the sleeve is going to spread and all of that then you're going to be doing this for the six of them after adding the first one you're going to be adding the others you're going to be doing it round make sure to be careful so that it goes round and you don't pack the front too much with maybe like four circles and the back will have only two yeah you have to be very very careful with how you spread it out evenly so at this point you add the second circle and you do the same thing you did with the first one so you guys please pardon the powder at my back i had to go take my bait because i was tired and after taking my bait i decided to apply powder to cool off my skin so just ignore the powder and let's focus on the tutorial so like i said you are going to be doing this for the second one too you spread it out you open it at some point and you tack it from the center to the back you tack it all over the sleeve this was my first time doing this sleeve so it was kind of technical for me and that's why it's looking as if my hand is shaking but the most important thing is that i still got it yeah so you're going to be doing this round and round and at this point I had gotten to the end i was going to add the last circle to the back and you can see i added it carefully and you can see that our sleeve is already looking so so full and fine so if you want to um, do a particular sleeve that you have to go around like i said at the beginning of the video you are going to have to cut so many circles but if it's just one hand from six to eight circles are very very okay and it's better to do it with hand needle and not a sewing machine yeah i hope you understand this sleeve and i hope you actually like this tutorial so yeah this right here is one of the easiest way to make this trendy exaggerated ruffle sleeve yeah this oven beige sleeve with a lot of spice and ginger iwatago yeah so you guys if you enjoyed this video or you learned a thing or two from this video do give it a huge thumbs up like giving thumbs up is for free and it helps youtube know that you like this video and it helps the video algorithm wise so please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials and more sewing videos and for more fashion inspiration share this video let's move this ministry to the permanent site the ministry is moving and share this video someone may need this video leave a kind comment or ask me any question you want to ask and if there's any tutorial you need do let me know and if it's possible for me to make it available i will and hopefully 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 i'm going to be seeing you in my next video for now bye kiss kiss love you hi i'm olivia surprise you there are
Please subscribe to Dera's vlog. Please subscribe to Dera's vlog. Dera's vlog to the world. Subscribe to Dera's vlog on YouTube. Subscribe to Dera's vlog on YouTube and tell your friends to subscribe to Dera's vlog on YouTube.